Let's go! Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarlane? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarlane. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Right, are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Come on, boy. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Gee up! How are you, Miss McFarland? Blow it up now. Get behind the herd. Now just start them moving in the right direction. Assuming they aren't put off by your smell. Keep on moving. That's it. Go on. He's got it. Stay behind them. That's job, Mr. Marston. Come on. Is it? Look at the cowboy. This way, we need to take them out to the pasture. Yeah. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch.
Let's go! Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can... I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clouds in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash. Came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Let's proceed on foot from here. Let's go! Stay alert, boys! Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Take the left, boys. I'll go right. Marston, you can go with the deputies or cover me. Let's move up, boys. That was some pretty damn good shooting, John. Yep. Maybe you ain't the ten foot I thought you was. Coming from you, friend, that's a real compliment.
You're gonna leave this in a box! I'm a waste a lot of you! Twins got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Yep. Marshal of yours sure doesn't Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger, all right. And he's been after these rustlers for a long time. He tell you he's all about the book. Let me go inside a man's face, but he throws out plenty of his own justice, too. So much for cover! 